Greetings all in this Down and Dirty Visual Studios Code video. We're going to make a couple of quick changes to help us use Visual Studios Code more efficiently and then we're going to create a CSS page and connect it the easy way to our HTML page that we created in the previous lesson. So right now you'll see that I've used file open folder to open my web 140 folder which is what I should do each time I begin a new project. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here into extensions and I'm going to see that I have my open in browser extension enabled. If you don't, if you have not done that yet, you're going to go into show popular extensions and then here you can delete what's in the search box and just type open in browser and you want th this one that's open in browser by tech er with over 1 million downloads and four stars it does make a difference so then i've already done it but you'll just click the install button and boom it'll be installed pretty awesome now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to all of our we're going to show built-in extensions and then we're going to close all of our drop down boxes then we need to go into features and in features we're going to scroll down it's alphabetical we're going to find HTML language features then we're going to click on the gear to the right and we're going to click on configure extension settings and then we're going to uncheck enable disable auto closing of HTML tags because that's a big fat pain in the neck the way it happens with that enabled okay that's all we need to do here right now and we're going to close this and then we're going to come down to the bottom where we see a gear at the bottom left and we're just going to click that gear and then we're going to click settings all right and after we delete our search here we're going to go to into our regular user settings so the first thing that's going to come up is file autosave um, by default it's going to be off I change mine to after delay and I don't have to change anything else there I think that's helpful then I'm going to look for word wrap and by default that's off I'm going to turn word wrap on you'll notice immediately the grand help that that is okay and then a couple of the other things that I'm going to do here I'm going to click back to user now I'm going to go to text editor and in text editor I'm going to make sure I delete my searches because that will limit what I can see okay in text editor when I click on that um, I'm going to come down and I'm going to change auto closing brackets to the default which is language defined and then I'm going to leave most everything else here I don't think I'm going to change anything else here right now we may come back and make some changes later but for the moment that should do it okay so now I've made a couple of changes in the settings in Visual Studios code that are going to make my life tremendously easy so I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on files because I'm ready to get out of extension and what I have here is my index.html file that I created in lesson three and really fast because I just have a few seconds here to finish this I'm going to create a CSS file that I'm going to attach to it so I'm going to go file new file and I'm going to call this assignment for there's some other names that's the recommended name in the assignment which I can't remember what it is right now use the recommended name in the assignment I just want to show you the process dot CSS now remember to tell it what it's supposed to be oops and I've done that in the wrong place <laughs> you have to do file and then you have to do save as because you're going to direct it to a particular place then we're going to name it 
assignment4.css. I'm going to go into my Web140 folder, into my assignment4, into my CSS, and I'm going to save it there. Okay, and now just so that I'll know when it's being saved, I'm going to add a color to the background. So I'm going to start typing body. When it comes up on the prompt, I always use that. Oops, click the wrong one. That can happen when you're in a hurry like I am. I'm going to go B-O, then bodies first. I'm going to click that, space. Now I'm going to click my open brackets, which will give me open closing, enter, enter. Now I'm going to start typing background color. won't take many letters and it'll be available. I'm going to click background color. And I'm just going to click any background color because I just want you to see that the pages are connected. So I'm going to say file, save, because I know I'm in the right place. I see my CSS file is inside that. And I'm going to connect this to my HTML page. Right after title, I want to attach it above the head closing tag. So I could go look this up and try to remember how to do this link, but there's a cool hidden feature inside of Visual Studio Code. If I start typing the word link, no greater than, less than sign, just start typing the word link, just the L, I'll see link CSS, boom, there it is for me. Then I'm going to select everything inside of the brackets. I know my CSS file is inside a folder, so I'm going to start typing CSS. There it's saying, do you want me to connect you to the folder? Yes, I do. Then it's telling me the name of the file that's available. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to just do file, save all. And then because at the beginning, remember we previewed the open in at the beginning, we added the open in browser. I can use that, and I'm going to open in default browser. Boom, and I can see that it's connected. Of course, it looks terrible, but I know it's connected because it's dark blue. It obviously shows up. And now I can go continue my work, having this connected as it should be, and making some changes in my um, Visual Studio's code interface that are going to be very helpful throughout the process of adding styles. Uh, this is a down and dirty, unedited video. Maybe I'll get around to editing it, editing it sooner or later, but for right now, I just want to get it up for you. Have a great day.